Welcome to SLU this week on February 19th, 2024. Coming up, what's new at SLU? What's up this week? Our student spotlight and top tips in how to use SLU. What's new at SLU? We're on a mission to showcase the best student images and quest posters. So we've launched SLU's Student Spotlight to encourage students to learn from each other and to share their personal perspectives about space and astronomy. Teachers will see a SLU announcement panel below their workspace on the dashboard. Click the link and submit your students' work. And we'll spotlight the best here on SLU this week. Each week we highlight some great quests to start and we've got a couple of crackers for you this week. With a full moon on Saturday night, it's an ideal week to start the Lunar Phases quest. And there's still time to complete one of my favourite collection quests, the Winter Summer Celestial Gems quest, where you'll capture and learn about six of the most interesting objects visible at this time of year. Let's take a look at what's up this week and some of your best observing opportunities. We'll start with the moon. For most of the week, we'll enjoy a waxing gibbous moon, but on Saturday, February 24th, it's a full moon. And this full moon was known by early Native American tribes as the snow moon because the heaviest snows usually fell during this time of year. And since hunting was difficult, some tribes called it the hunger moon. This is also the smallest full moon of 2024. It's called a micromoon. If you capture an image of it, compare its size to one of the supermoon images you can capture of the largest supermoon of the year in September. Now, what about the planets this week? Well, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Saturn and Neptune aren't visible. They're all too close to the Sun. But the mighty gas giant Jupiter is still looking terrific and is visible during the first hour of missions. See if you can capture the great red spot or the four Galilean moons, Io, Europa, Ganymede and Callisto. Like Jupiter, the ice giant Uranus is well placed and high in the sky at the start of missions. See if you can capture Uranus's five major moons, Miranda, Ariel, Umbriel, Titania and Oberon, all named after Shakespearean characters. The dwarf planet Pluto is too close to the sun to observe, but it returns to our pre-dawn skies in mid to late March. That's the moon and planets, but what are the best deep sky objects to capture this week? With moonlight illuminating the sky as we approach full moon on Saturday, it's best to stick to brighter deep sky objects, such as globular and open clusters, like the great Hercules globular cluster in the northern hemisphere, or the southern hemisphere, 47 Toucanet or Omega Centauri globular clusters. Keep your eyes on the featured missions because we'll choose some of the best globular clusters to capture this week. Students have been sharing some astonishing observations this week, from their first ever images captured using SLU's telescopes to some remarkable images of the sun, like this one shared by Bogdan, who captured this enormous solar prominence using the Canary Island Solar Telescope. What I like most about this observation is that Bogdan has added an Earth graphic to give us a sense of scale of the humongous plume of superheated plasma. Students doing the Lunar Phases quest captured an incredibly young waxing crescent moon last week, and some of them shared their observations. Avia shared their one, saying, Seen in the early evening, the crescent moon is dominated by two dark seas, the Sea of Crises and the Sea of Fecundity. Kai from New Hampshire asked a question when sharing their moon observation. I must say, the moon is much more peppered than I had previously imagined. Is that highlighted due to its dark nature? Well, Kai was kind of correct. We see much more contrast and features during these lesser phases because the sunlight is hitting the moon at an angle, creating more shadows in craters and other lunar features. We'll see very little detail during the full moon later this week. Now, if you'd like to be featured in next week's Student Spotlight, share your observations or quest posters with the community. In How to Slew this week, I've got a top tip for all of you already doing or about to embark on the Lunar Phases quest. It can be tricky to complete this quest in a short time because three of its monthly phases only occur on a single night. The first quarter, full and last quarter moon phases. If you miss one, you have to wait until the following month. But to help you plan your missions, hop over to the Moon's Guide page. Just use the search tool to find it. 
scroll down the page and you'll find the 2024 Lunar Phase Calendar, where we've highlighted the one night only phases with a white box so they're easy to find. Zoom into February and you'll see the dates you need to capture these one night phases this lunar month. So don't miss the full moon on Saturday, the 24th of February. That wraps it up for this week. Until next time, clear skies, everyone.